Hey, hey, everybody, it's Overkill here with another Medieval Kingdoms 1212 AD faction focus video. So, today we're taking a look at the Duchy of Silesia. So, yeah, here's the general. And they have a lot of cavalry. These are all unique cavalry units. Uh, everything else, though, kind of lacking. Uh, so, let's get started. So, first off, let's look at spears. Now, this is the only infantry that they get. Um, no swords or anything like that. So, that's quite interesting. Uh, here you can see they have spear militia. This is your first cheap infantry, and you, as you can see, compared to some other factions, um, they actually look quite good um, for your cheapest unit in terms of like their equipment. Nice helmets, good shields, spears, all that good stuff. We then move on to spear sergeants. I have a couple of units of these just to actually make an army. As you can see, these are just more upgraded. Um, better equipment, better shields, better helmets, better armor, stuff like that. Look at this guy. Look at this guy's mohawk thing. That's crazy. Um, we then have halberdiers, uh, halberdiers rather, um, because of course you can't have an army in 1212 without halberds. Uh, I should probably pause this because the enemy is right there. Um, now we'll move on to crossbows. So first we have crossbow militia, and as you can see, um, they have nice little helmets with just tunics on, basically nothing too special there. We then have crossbow sergeants. Which, as the name would suggest, it's the spear sergeants with crossbows, basically. We then have heavy crossbowmen, so some of these guys have plate and nice uh, uh, solid helmets and stuff, so they're pretty cool. And then we have handgunners. Yeah, they're quite cool, really good against armored infantry, as you would imagine. And then we move on to the biggest section for Silesia, which is their cavalry. So first off, over here we have mounted sergeants. You can see them, they're quite cool. Literally sergeants on horses, as the name would suggest. We have um, a unit of two units of different uh, Mazonian or Mazovian cavalry, um, but these are just the normal mercenaries. As you can see, they look nice. And then we have high uh, Mazovian mercenaries, and yeah, you can see they're just more chainmail than anything, <laughs> which is quite cool. We then have Silesian knights. Now I'm getting a strong um, Holy Roman Empire feel from these guys. Um, Silesia is like a it's a it's a duchy of Poland, is it not? I'm not quite sure. Um, I think it's like it's like on the border of the Holy Roman Empire, but it's in Poland, something like that. I don't know, but they look a lot like Holy Roman Empire things. I mean, like look at their symbol and stuff. Uh, but here we have Silesian knights, plate armor knights. Oh. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And then we have Polish Knights Late, and these are, you know, stereotypical, like really late knights. The very awesome plate armor, the cool helmet. I don't I don't know what they're actually called, but yeah. We then have two units of crossbow cavalry, so we have mounted crossbow sergeants, which are crossbow sergeants on horses. Wow, who would have guessed? And mounted crossbow sergeants late, so they have the same plate armor as the uh, as the knights. So yeah. Uh, well, just by the fact that they have Polish units, I probably should have thought of that. They're, they're like a Polish duchy, I don't know. It's weird. Anyway, let's get started. So I'm going to send these guys over here. Go shoot at these Polish knights. Oh, our handgunner started firing. Let's just look at the devastation. Oh my god. As you can see, some handgunner shots count as like artillery. It makes people like explode. So um, yeah, don't mind that. So the peasant archers that um, Pomerania has uh, <laughs> aren't doing quite well for them. All right, we're engaging our guys there. Get our cavalry going around. Oh, as you can see, the mix of our our soldiers and the crossbows are starting to do quite a bit of damage to these uh, enemy Polish knights. But yeah, we may want to support them. Oh, whoops! Let's get a nice charge here. A nice charge shot. There we go. Oh, and the cavalry just running into them. <laughs> Alright, let's go all along the line. Epic battles everywhere. The general's under attack. Oh, he's being shot at, I guess. 
Oh, hello. Cavalry are still in that fight, which they really shouldn't be. Wow, look how fast these died. Cavalry definitely aren't as powerful as they once were. That's for sure. That's a good thing. They were OP they were ridiculously broken before. But yeah, guys, I forgot to mention, um, this mod will be coming out in three days. Well, from the, when this is posted. Um, so be excited for that. It's actually going to be a different build from the one I have here. So you guys are actually going to have more than I do um, when the mod comes out. Of course, well, I'll be able to get the version that you guys have, of course. So will it be equal? You know what I mean. You'll have more uh, with that build than I have now, basically. Um, so that's going to be quite cool. Looking forward to uh, maybe people sending in replays and stuff. That would be quite awesome. So yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing all of that stuff. Anyway, we're just going to continue this fight. You can see there's some heavy axemen down here fighting with my spears. I can't imagine that my spears are doing too well against them. But yeah, you can see uh, Pomerania is not doing too hot. That's a cool shot. Anyway. Alright, we took out those guys. Uh, you know we need to get a cool charge on these guys now. So let's get these guys all bundled up. Let's get a nice clean charge. Let's just speed it up a little bit. Alright. Oh gosh, here they come. Yeah, it's a bit it's a bit of a spread out charge. But oh well. It still did its job here. Alright, let's break off. Oh, I think they might break yeah, they broke, okay. No problem. Oh, don't know why the crossbows are in the fight. That was dumb. Oh, let's charge them and see what happens. Oh, yeah, there we go. That'll be better. <laughs> oh, no, the poor archers. Oh, they didn't do anything to deserve this. Those poor peasants. <laughs> instantly, instantly broke all of those units. All right, we have a huge cavalry charge incoming. Oh, this is not a good day to be a Pomeranian. Look at all that. Look at all that cavalry. Good lord. So, yep. The, um... Oh. Wow, these Axemen, they haven't died. They haven't lost, like, anybody. That's crazy. Alright, so we're about to take out these guys with our Salesian Knights. They really are an awesome looking unit, aren't they? I, look, they, I think they look fantastic. Alright, so these heavy axemen over here. Doing very well, but against Halberdiers, I don't think you can do that great. This unit's starting to waver now. And I need to keep this unit together more. And now we're going to get a charge into these guys. Most of my men will be stopped by other stuff. Mainly my other, my own cavalry. <laughs> oh, the enemy general is char has charged in. Alright, even the crossbows are going to be used for rear charges in this battle. Oh, he's dead. Great. Oh, look at that. Wow. Even my own men getting just bl just blown out of the way by, by my cavalry. All right. There we go. Battle is done. Excellent. So let's see what did really good. One unit of halberdiers did pretty good. Wow. Crossbow cav 2. Wow. Oh, my God. 500 kills. What are those? The Silesian Knights late or something? Good God. Cavalry are, of course, still really broken. But, uh, not broken, I guess. But in Attila, where cavalry are so powerful. And then you get medieval knights in this mod. It, uh, yeah. Like, th this one unit killed a quarter of, uh, what we killed. 
a quarter of our kills were from this one unit. That's quite interesting. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like and a comment down below, as always. And if you're enjoying this series of faction focuses, make sure you subscribe because more of them will be on their way. Uh, thank you to Haxo, Nicholas, Fish, and Johnny for pledging five or more dollars per month on Patreon. You guys are the best. And I will see you all next time. Goodbye.